Less than an hour ago, it was revealed that Max Clifford has been charged with 11 counts of indecent assault. The offences are alleged to have been committed over a 19-year period, between 1966 and 1985. He'd been initially arrested last December as part of Operation Yew Tree. Tonight, Mr Clifford said the allegations were completely false. Well, our Home Affairs correspondent Simon Israel is with me now. So what can you tell us? Well, you may remember that Max Clifford was initially first arrested last December under what the Yard called Operation Yew Tree that arose out of the Savile case, as you like. And it was divided up. He was part of the others section, OK? And that was last December. You may remember, at the time, he stood on the steps of Belgravia Police Station saying he was completely innocent, denying vehemently any accusations at all. Well, four months on, he's returned to that police station today where he has been charged with a total of 11 offences of indecent assault. And those spanning 19 years, and they are as follows, and they involve seven teenage girls. The first is an offence of indecent assault relating to a girl aged 14 in 1966. This, another is an indecent assault relating to a woman aged 18 in 74-75. There are three offences of indecent assault against the next alleged victim, a girl aged 15 in 1977 to 78. A further offence of indecent assault against a 19-year-old woman in 1978. Two more relating to a girl aged 16 or 17 in 1981-82. Another one the year previously. And two further offences of indecent assault relating to a woman aged 18 in 1984 and 85. Now, the Crown Prosecution Service said tonight there were three other allegations made against him, but there was insufficient evidence to bring those charges against the, pe uh, the veteran PR. And he's denying it? He has... We have spoken to him not very long ago, about ten minutes ago. We spoke to him. We invited him onto the programme. He declined, saying he was too tired. He had been involved in many hours of police interview, but he said it was now up to him to clear his name. Simon Israel.